You can see we got a, we got a ton of canvas up right now. So the plan is to do a deployment first, okay. and then uh, we're gonna do a tow afterward. It's in the water. So we'll go strike the fisherman. Ease your throat, Halyard. Nice and lively. We'll go strike the JT. We'll strike the topsail. Yeah. Square the braces. Let go and all. <laughs> Tops will brace fast. We'll come back and I, I need some hands on the main sheet. I don't need everyone, so we can send two people out to start rolling the JT. Two turns left, please. Turns left. Hands on the main sheet. Right. We're going to set everything again after the station. We can clean stuff up during the station, but we need to get it secured so that we can get the science deck clear and ready to go. So we're in the Sargasso Sea right now, kind of in the center of the North Atlantic Gyre. And right now we're towing a new stun net uh, aside the boat. And what the new stun net samples is surprisingly the new stun, uh, which is defined as like the top layer of the ocean. A lot of the plastic that we're seeing is going to be floating up by the surface layer. So it's really kind of been the net of choice for this data set in terms of what we're seeing for floating plastics. And a lot of the calculations that we're doing are kind of based upon the area of this net, which is one square meter. So as we tow it through the water, we get a minute by minute readout of exactly how far the net has been towed down to like the last meter. And uh, what we eventually do is multiply those numbers out so that we get a density of plastic per kilometer squared. So when we're looking at the you know, ocean at a much larger scale, instead of saying, hey, you know, we've got four pieces of plastic in this square meter, which mm, means you know, relatively little, we can say, hey, we've got a density of plastic per square kilometer. SEA has been classically sailing from Woods Hole up in Massachusetts down to the Caribbean and often looping outside of Bermuda. So really, you know, getting a sampling of the Sargasso Sea. And uh, one of the things that we're doing that's unique in this cruise is really looking for that eastern boundary of where plastics are accumulating. So we are going to no man's land and then going a little bit further. Ultimately, we're aiming for the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Again, a lot of the uh, data set from SEA, as long as it is, only includes, you know, 400, 500, 600 nautical miles uh, east of Bermuda. So we're really pushing that boundary and kind of filling in the gap in the data set. 